Oh no, the trigger locked in the bag. I hear some of you have the problem that the trigger is stuck at the bag. So this video will teach you what should you do if you have the trigger mode function. In order to check the trigger mode function, you will need 5 tools. A 1.3mm Allen key, a 1.5mm Allen key, a 2.5mm Allen key, a 2.5mm pin tool, and a hammer. First thing you need to do is you want your fire selector on semi-auto. And the next step is a little different from the real firearm. Normally, in the real firearm, you want to remove the magazine first and charge your handle. But in this PP2K airsoft version, it might broke your fire selector inside. So what you have to do is you charge the bolt first and then remove your magazine. Once you do that, the hammer will be totally pushed down. And then you do the disassemble. Okay, here we have the PP2K trigger system right here. If the trigger stuck at the back, cannot recycle. There's three types of possibility. The first one is these three parts is getting dirty and not lubricate well. So first thing you need to do is clean up this part right here and then lubricate some silicone oil on it. And the second one is to check this trigger pin right here. If it's locked too tight, it will cause the trigger not coming back as well. And the third part is the spring under here is not tight enough. So you want to slightly tighten this screw right here. If the trigger system has no problem, then your trigger mechanism should look like this. And here's the picture when the trigger mode function. You can see this part right here is stuck in the hammer to go forward. In order to solve the third problem, you need to pull out this trigger system right here. First, you need to remove your fire selector from the inside right here using 1.3 mm Allen key to unscrew. Okay, so now we remove the fire selector. Then the next step is to remove the three pin from the right side, this side right here. And you can pull out your trigger unit. So now, as you can see, I removed this three pin right here. This three pin has its own direction. You need to remove it from the right side and install it on the left side. So you can see the pin, it has a little bit thinner part. That part needs to be on the right side. And if you install it on the wrong side, you might break your stock. Okay, so the next step is to remove the screw in the back of your hammer right here. And then you can push your trigger up and pull your whole trigger unit out. Okay, from here, you need to check this screw. After you remove the screw, there's a spring inside. Check if the spring is damaged or not. If the spring is fine, then you just put it in and screw it back. If you screw it too tight, you might broke your spring. And if it's not tight enough, the spring won't have enough power to push your trigger back. Follow these three steps and the trigger problem should be solved at this point. If not, you can always contact us and let us help you. So this is what should you do if you have the trigger mode function. Hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.